So let's get started with T-Trends. One of the interesting things about T-Trends is it has changed over, over the years. And you can see here that we've got everything from, you know, mom and pop who had tea at the table years and years ago, all the way up to the guy who's drinking yerba mate and having his breakfast and uh, reading the stock quotes. That would be my husband. So lots of interesting things going on right now with tea trends. We're going to talk through the latest trends. These come. Um, straight from the Tea is Hot report, the newest one, which would be the 2008-2009 edition coming out. They also come from several other food-related sources that study tea as part of the studies that they do. And also from Flavor Dynamics um, that studies the types of flavorings that are being watched right now. So as we go, let's get let's take a look at our taste. Okay, what's going on right now in the tea trend market is that we're seeing taste truly is what causes our people to want to drink or not drink. Now this probably sounds like really basic to you. Yeah, of course it's the taste. But you know, a lot of people have had really bad experiences with old tea bags. Recently, I went to a little diner here in Kansas and had a cup of tea from a Lipton tea bag, which I try to pretend isn't tea, and that's how I kind of fool myself into drinking it. I just think of it more as a hot beverage that I have to drink. But anyway, this bag had obviously been there for way too long and was kept near the onions and tasted like onions. Now, if I was a tea drinker for the first time, I would drink that and think, "Ugh, this is awful. I hate this. I will never, never drink tea again. Taste is primary. So it is the primary reason consumers drink or do not drink tea. This is why they are deciding, yes, I need to be drinking tea or no, I do not want to be drinking tea. So that first taste is really important. Now when you're thinking about an online business, when you send out a sample or with the, when you get them to taste your product for the first time, this is really important because you want to bring them coming back for more. So you're wanting to think about what are, what are the best ways to help that customer make sure to have a quality experience. Another thing that's happening within Trends is there are tons of flavors to choose from. Um, we're seeing more and more flavors every day and blends every day and uh, I think they're saying it's a little over 10,000 blends right now. So there's lots of different things for the consumer to taste and if you look on the grocery store shelves, there's lots of things for the consumer to taste as well because the flavors are changing. We are seeing tastes begin to change. As the Hispanic population grows in the United States, the tastes are changing. As the Asian population grows, the tastes are changing. And so what we're seeing is as they change, what we're seeing as flavors are changing on the shelf. 84% of consumers are only looking for great taste. That's all they're looking for. That is at least primarily what they think of first. The last thing is Does the quality of the tea leaves. Because we're seeing a far greater quality in our tea leaf being used, our taste is improved. So marketing. With our tea trends, we are of course seeing that tea is advertised everywhere, right? Magazines, TV, internet, word of mouth, radio, every place you go, tea is being advertised for you. Tea sales are projected to be about $10 billion by 2012. Um, that is on the low side. That's what they're saying on the low side. And that is within the United States. Ads emphasizing tea's great tastes are hooking consumers. Now, I want you to think about ads that you may have seen on TV recently. We've seen new ads from Lipton, new ads from Snapple, new ads from a whole variety of um, sources. Even uh, foreign countries have been advertising some of their um, products online with, with their same ads that they're running in other countries. Now I want you to take a look at this ad that I just recently pulled out of a Modern Bride magazine. This was a really fun ad 
the reason I liked this ad is because it shows me that we are now again promoting that even the bride wants to have teacups. So Bloomingdale's is now telling our brides that they need to be sure that when they pick out their china they get teacups as well. This my friends is a sign that tea is not only popular but is being marketed for you. Education. The trends in education. Consumers want to become more informed in the products that they are purchasing. Education, education, education. People want to know the source. We are really starting to turn into the wine industry in many, many ways. We want to know the origin. We want to know the direct line between us and the product. And we're going to talk more about that but more and more of our customers are going to be looking in years to come from who was growing it, where were they growing it, why were they growing it, um, how did it get here, is it organic, is it fair trade, what does organic mean, what does fair trade mean, what does all natural mean, they're going to want to know all of these components. Consumers are wanting to become more informed about the products they're purchasing so they can make wise decisions. How does that relate to you on the internet? It relates to you because just like we talked about in the power of words in that seminar, wording is very important. First of all, you have to educate in order to use um, terms that are specific to this industry. So in most cases, those types of words um, such as, you know, full-bodied might be okay, but burnt, brisk,